Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, he gonna go. And I saw a vision of a woman standing at the back of a funeral. She was not mingling with anybody. It's kind of like she didn't really come there to mingle. Okay. She was basically just paying her respects for the person that was deceased. The scripture comes from Ephesians 5 and 9. For the fruit of the light in, is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is well-pleasing to the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of the darkness, and rather even convict. For it is a shame even to speak of things done by them in secret. And all the things reproved by the light are revealed, for everything that is revealed is light. So here's what God said. God is saying, for whoever this is for, cling to godly things. Cling to things that are of God. Now, I'm simultaneously going to say that God's way is not our ways. However, Cling to what God wants you to cling to instead of doing what man is trying to tell you to do. I, I just feel like this is someone that they they going to make a mistake of coming against somebody they shouldn't come against. They were told something about someone that was a lie. They were told they should do something that they shouldn't do. God said if you decide to do that, you will find yourself against going against god you're gonna find yourself in a messed up situation i'm just I, it's a messed up situation okay god said he is not playing whoever this is i don't know who this is for god said he is not playing about whoever this is i like and i'm just i'm being reminded of like another message i think it was the first message or the second message god said if you decide to uh go against whoever this person is and attempt to sell them you are going to have to deal with the wrath of god and it is not going to be light it's not going to be a light sentence it's not going to be a situation where god is going to you know what i'm saying and it, like sometimes i know people think that you know some some people are like they'll do anything to remain living they they'll do anything to stay living this life and you know what i'm saying i know some people when i say that i i don't care what you know what i'm saying what kind of uh verdict somebody is gonna try to have up on me i know i'm gonna be in heaven i would prefer to be with my heavenly father than to be living a life doing stuff i don't want to do and i'm just being honest i don't i'm not i'm not gonna do it I'm not going to do it. And you know what I'm saying? I've had so many experiences in my life of people trying to force uh, certain, force me to do things I didn't want to do. Trying to get me hooked on stuff I wasn't going to get hooked on. I, like, you know what I'm saying? I just I just know that when it come down to it, putting stuff in my food, putting stuff in my drinks, just trying to do any and everything out of that. Like, just, uh, and, and it's just, the world is so wicked. 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 However, I can sit here and say that I know that there is a God. Because I can still sit here and talk to y'all in my right mind about the things that I have been through and the experiences that I have gone through. And after knowing that somebody put something in my drink, not once. Twice three times i've experienced people putting stuff in my food i've experienced people injecting me with stuff while i was asleep i experienced people doing all kind of crazy stuff trying to take me up out of here yet and still somehow some way i'm still sitting right here i'm still sitting right here in my right mind completely sober-minded not interested in, you know what I'm saying, taking anything that's going to take me out of my, my right mind. I may have a sip of wine or, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 old-fashioned every now and again. But in, in reality, you know what I'm saying, sober-minded, chilling, drinking water. 
and minding my own business. God said, when it come down to it, whoever it is that this is somebody they coming against this person, they are thinking that it'll be a smart idea to come against this person. God said the wrath that he gonna have up against them. Like the person that said whatever lie already went through God's wrath. And God not done with them yet because for whatever reason, they decided that they want to carry on. God said he got something for them and he got something for anybody else that decide that they gonna come against his child. And he mean it. And that's the message. God said he, he wants us all to do things that are righteousness and truth. Things that are well-pleasing to the Lord. Now, if you see with your eyes, obviously, that somebody don't get down like that. What will make you think that just because such and such said they heard this, they heard that, they think this, they think that, that all of a sudden that person is not who they obviously are? It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid, it's stupid, it's stupid, it's stupid, it's stupid. God said this is somebody that is sitting around thinking that just because this person said this, are they thinking, they assume this, they assume that God said if they do what they are planning to do, if they try to do what they are thinking to do, they are going to be brought to shame. And for somebody, they're going to lose their life behind it. God said he is not playing about whoever this person is. And that's just what it is. That's the message. God said he wants everybody to do things that are of God. He wants people to do things the right way. He wants to do th like, and you know what I'm saying? When you the kind of person that you live your life of righteously, you put forth every effort you can to do right by anybody and everybody. You know what I'm saying? You allow God to handle your, your, uh, big, get to give you your victories and to also handle any downfalls. Also handle anybody coming against you. God said, this is somebody that he holds high. This is somebody that he loves and cares about. He is not going to allow any harm to come to this person. Period. He is not going to allow them to live a life of mourning. And that's just what it is. It is not going to work out the way that whoever this person is, the way you think it's going to work, it's not going to work out like that. It's not. And that's what it is. That's the message. God says it's not going to work out like that. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.